Hi, I'm Beth Thompson, and I'm here to talk to you today about converting from magnetostrictive ultrasonic scaling to piezo scaling. We're going to discuss what is similar about the two techniques, and we'll talk about the differences. With magnetostrictive technology, you have about six to ten tip selections to choose from, and you have the metal stacks that fit into the handpiece that require water quite a bit of water actually to keep the metal stacks cool and to keep the interface of the tip against the tooth surface cool. With piezo technology you have ceramics in the handpiece that do not heat up and the only time heat is generated is just at the very end of the tip where it touches the tooth during activation. Therefore much less water is needed to reduce the amount of heat so you don't have as much water aerosol between um, the piezo and the magnetostrictive technology. The similarities between the two are that you're going to get the same result. They each take about the same amount of time to uh, provide your dental hygiene therapy, your periodontal therapy, or deplacking therapy. However, the way the technology works is very different in what the clinician and the patient experiences. For instance, with piezo technology, you have less water, so there's less fluid management you have less heat generated so it's much more comfortable and it's much more quiet against the tooth surface as it moves in a linear pattern against the tooth rather than elliptical you don't have the chatter that's associated with ultrasonic technology but you do get the very same result with either technology when they're used properly